Welcome back to Anatomy and Physiology on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we're going to go into a little bit of detail about some skeletal muscles called the extrinsic eye muscles. You generally will not cover these muscles in the muscle chapters of anatomy, but you'll usually save them for the special senses when you talk about the eyes specifically. And you usually look at these in lab. And the extrinsic eye muscles are a set of six voluntary skeletal muscles, because we can consciously move our eyes around in our sockets, and they basically rotate the eye in the socket. Okay? And so we have six of them. Four of them are termed rectus muscles, and then two of them are termed oblique muscles. And we're going to look at each of those independently and see what they do. And we're also going to see that each one of these extrinsic eye muscles is controlled by one of three cranial nerves. And those are going to be cranial nerve 3, which is the ocular motor nerve, cranial nerve 4, which is the trochlear nerve, and then cranial nerve 6, which is the abducens nerve. Before we get into looking at the functions of these six muscles, we want to be able to determine, is this a left eye or a right eye? And unfortunately, you have to have these muscles on there to be able to determine that, because without them, the eyes are indistinguishable from each other. Okay, And specifically, you really need the inferior oblique muscle and the superior oblique muscle. And these muscles are termed oblique muscles because rather than just going directly up, down, uh, right, or left, as we see in the picture, they kind of curve around. And you can see this a little better in the inferior oblique. It attaches to the eye right here at its insertion, and then it kind of curves off and then goes in this direction. In this picture, it seems to be going to the rightwards direction. The thing about these muscles, these two of them, is on the same eye, they will both run in the same direction. So at least how we're looking at it here, not from the patient's perspective, but we see the insertion of the inferior oblique right here, and it runs down and to the right. The superior oblique will do the same thing. It will run up and then to the right. And the rule is, is that whatever direction the oblique muscles run toward, that's the direction of the nose. So in this image, these oblique muscles are running to the right direction, so that means the nose is probably right over here where my mouse is. And considering this is where the nose is, that would make this the right eyeball. Okay, And that's how you distinguish right from left. Okay, now let's go into the functions of these muscles, and we're going to look at the rectus muscles first. These more or less run straight up and back, down and back, right and back, and left and back. And the nice thing about this picture is it actually indicates to us uh, the direction that each of these muscles is pulling. Okay, The medial rectus muscle, this muscle when it contracts, moves the eye and rotates it sort of in this direction. And so the medial rectus muscle simply rotates the eye medially. So if you were to go cross-eyed and kind of look at your nose, that would involve a contraction of the medial rectus muscle. So if you were to rotate your eyes directly in the medial direction, you'd be contracting this muscle. And so by pulling in the right direction toward the nose here, you rotate the eye so it kind of looks in a cross-eyed direction. And so when a person goes cross-eyed, they're actually contracting the medial rectus muscle in both of their eyes at the same time. Now, the lateral rectus muscle is going to pull the eye in the opposite direction. It's going to pull the eye laterally. Now, if you think about this, can the lateral rectus muscle in both eyes contract at the same time? Well, have you ever seen someone move their right eye laterally and their left eye laterally? No, you haven't seen anybody do that, most likely. So with the lateral rectus muscle, this would be like if you looked in the right direction, and you should think about doing that right now. If you kind of gaze, and I don't turn your head, but just move your eyes and look to the right, okay? In your right eye, the lateral rectus muscle is contracting because it's pulling the right eye laterally. However, in the other eye, in your left eye, when you look to the right, the left eye is actually having a contraction of the medial rectus muscle. So the lateral rectus muscle actually cannot contract in both eyes at the same time, generally. It's going to be either the lateral in one and the medial in the other, or vice versa. And that occurs when you look either to the left or to the right. Okay. So those are those two muscles. Now the superior rectus muscle. The superior rectus muscle is going to pull mostly in the upward direction, 
Um, and that's normally how we think about it. It's going to elevate the eye, move it upwards. But there's going to be a slight amount of medial turn to it. And you should demonstrate this to yourself. If you take your eyes and just look upward, you may be able to detect something you've never detected before. When you look upward, there's a, you can detect a slight amount of medial pull. And so the way the superior rectus muscle works is it will have a slight amount of medial pull, but we generally just consider it moving upwards. Okay. Now for the inferior rectus muscle, this is very similar. This one attaches and inserts on the inferior part of the eyeball and it pulls the eye downwards, okay, where we say it depresses the eye. It also has a slight amount of medial turn to it. So if you now demonstrate this to yourself, if you kind of look downwards, maybe toward your nose, don't even go cross-eyed, just look downwards. You should be able to detect a slight amount of medial rotation of your eyes. And if you can't detect it, just look at someone else doing this if they don't get too weirded out by that. But in general, the inferior rectus really just pulls downward only with a slight amount of medial rotation. Now, for the oblique muscles, these include the superior oblique muscle and the inferior oblique muscle. Now, this is kind of backwards. The inferior oblique muscle actually elevates the eye and it turns it laterally. So let's think about a case where you would actually be contracting the inferior oblique muscle. All right, so if you start by looking forward and then kind of move your eyeballs such that you're looking up and to the right, so up and to the right. So now your, your gaze has shifted from straight forward to up and to the right at the same time. So kind of diagonally into the first quadrant, we might say. Okay, That is an elevation of the eye because you're looking upward. And then it's a lateral turn that is of your right eye. Okay, The left one is not a lateral turn. That one's actually medial. But if you look up and to the right, your right eye has now turned laterally and it's looking upward. And so that is a contraction of the inferior oblique muscle. The superior oblique muscle is pretty much the opposite. It also turns the eye laterally, but it depresses the eye. So to demonstrate this to yourself, start by looking directly forward and look down and to the right. Okay, look down and to the right. Now you've kind of gone in a diagonal direction to the second quadrant, we might say. And since you're looking down, that's an eye depression. And for your right eye, your right eye is turned laterally in that case. That would be a contraction of the superior oblique muscle in your right eye. Again, it wouldn't be in the left eye because the left eye is actually turned medially. Okay? And so for that, for the left eye, it would actually be uh, the inferior rectus muscle because we had a depression of both eyes, but the left eye is actually turned medially in that case. So you should kind of play around with these, demonstrate these to yourselves, and think about which muscle is actually contracting out of these six. Kind of a fun game to play. And it could be something that you have on an exam. So now that we've talked about the general functions of these muscles, let's actually discuss the cranial nerves that are controlling each. In general, the medial rectus, the superior rectus, inferior rectus, and inferior oblique muscles, all four of these are controlled by cranial nerve 3, which is the oculomotor nerve. Okay? Only the trochlear nerve controls the superior oblique, and only the abducens nerve, cranial nerve 6, controls the lateral rectus. And so this is something that's more or less just straight memorization. And one thing you should think about is what type of cranial nerves are these? Are they sensory, motor, or mixed? And all of these are actually motor nerves because they control movement of the eye. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully you learned a lot in this video about the particular movements of the extrinsic eye muscles and how to differentiate the left and the right eyeball. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.